What's up, YouTube? It's Gold Dipper 125 back for another video, and this is actually a review. Yes, a review. Holy shit, he hasn't done a fucking review in ages. <gasps> oh, God. Alright, anyways, uh, I'm also drinking some good old Arizona ass too. I'm also watching the NASCAR race. Fucking Bush is in, is in the lead. I hate Kyle Bush. Come on. Edwards, I'm surprised Carl Edwards is actually doing good today. Holy shit. He's been sucking all season. I don't know what the fuck's been going on with him. He's my guy, but... Last year, he did great. Um, I don't know. It's like after... Um, the Sprint Cup Championships against Tony, against Tony Stewart. I don't know what the hell happened. Whatever. You know what it is, what it is. But yes, today I am doing a, um... I'm doing a new, new dip. It's Skull, Freddy Cup, Wintergreen. I gotta say, the can? It's a pretty badass can, if you ask me. I mean, I like the silver, and I like the black on it. And, of course, one, and of course it is Wintergreen flavor. Let's see. Um, Preformed uh, portion. So, it's plain, the whole point, it is long because it's not... Um... It's not pouches. The whole point of this is to be like pouches. You know, you just go in there pick, um, I don't know. I'll get into it more. I, this is the first time I'm actually having it. I've, I know this was available for a long time ago. It actually, it just recently, as far as I know, went nationwide. I don't know if it's all across the nation, so don't ask me. I know it's here in Pennsylvania. Uh, cause somebody at my bowling league actually said, hey man, ask me if I ever had school ready cut. And you know what, I said, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Alright. And of course, it's uncracked, so, what do we do? We crack it on camera, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can get my nail in there, because my nails are pretty much gone. Holy shit. This cake uh, cracks like, um... Uh, kind of cracks like the Skull Snooze cans, which I have been using, actually. Only because I've been like the Snooze. Man. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, baby. Get open. That's a bitch. My nails are like gone right now. <laughs> so I cannot get my nail in there. Oh, wait, there we go. So yeah, um. That's what it is. It's just little cubes, a long cut, back down. This has a little bit of a peppermint, like a spearmint or something. This has a little bit of a minting smell to it. It's not bad, though. But yeah, that's uh, the can. It looks kind of like plug, if you ask me. Or like Red Man plug or something. Um, yeah, like I was saying before, though, can't lead. I just hell, I mean, besides that. Fucking ass warning label. <sighs> I hate warning labels. Alright, you know what? The whole point of this stuff is you don't need to portion it out. You, like, you don't need to pack it. You just pick it up. Put it in. Alright. I'm not gonna judge it yet. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. Um. Mojo of the day is gonna be obviously the green and and black, since I am doing a wintergreen flavor. Mm. And the date on this kid is actually uh, very fresh. March 31st, 2013. So, you know what? I got a while before the shit expires. Um... I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the flavor sit for a while. Before I actually start getting into it before I actually start reviewing it. But like I said, the smell I can't put my finger on the smell. It smells kinda of like a peppermint. Actually. I don't know. I what the I don't know. I, I don't know. It does not smell like a wintergreen for me. It it does not smell like normal skull wintergreen. It just doesn't. I've had skull and of course I've obviously if you saw any of my older videos, you know I did a comparison on um Wonka and the uh, Skull Original Wintergreen, the fine cut ones, and they 
Uh, they do have a distinct uh, taste. But not even the smell does not taste like it does not smell like uh, peppermint on the long cuts. So I don't know why the fuck this smells like peppermint. What the hell? I can't stop smelling it now. What the hell? <laughs> I think I'm addicted to the smell now. Holy shit! Mm. All right. Anyways, y'all. All right. Favorite starting to kick in a little bit. Um. So yeah. Um, while that's going on, I just want to talk about a little bit of what this shit, what shit I'm going to be doing. Now, I said before, on my last video, I am going to etch my mud jug, like do glass etching. Um, I'm, I'm starting off with an easy, quite fairly easy design. Mostly because I have no idea if this shit's even going to work or not. Because we never, ever etched a mud jug before in our lives, so... What did I do with that paper, though? Oh. Well, anyways, um, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm actually... So, yeah, I got... The design I'm doing is... Obviously, a WWF block logo. I'm going simple for right now. Um, I got the stencil, I got the stencils already made up. I just gotta put it onto the mud jug, and I gotta etch it out. I just thought the fucking thing, because I'm an idiot. God damn it. But yeah, so... I don't know exactly how well it's going to work. I don't know if it even is going to work. But like I said, if it works, fine. If we can get the tape on there, fine. If the etch actually uh, shows up on the pla on the mud jug, fine. I'll fuck you off for it to YouTube dippers, all right? If you're a YouTube dipper, you got a, like a simple mud jug, like a green and black, blue and black, etc., etc. If you want a design on it that you cannot get through mudjug.com, let me know. Um, it ain't gonna be free. That's all I'm saying. It ain't gonna be free. Because, you know, we gotta make, I gotta make money too. It's a fucking business. The only reason why my boss letting me do it for free is just since it's an experiment and it's with my own shit, so. But, you know what, that's whatever. I'll get, I'll get more to that. Yeah, I'll, in a later video, I'm not really here to talk business. Oh man, this stuff actually got a bit of a bite to it. Not like a flavor bite, but more of like a, a little bit of a burning bite. I don't know if that's just because I've been dipping so much on my left side or what. All right, you know, I had this in for about three minutes now or so. Um. Huh. Very mild wintergreen. Uh, th th this stuff is very mild. Um, I don't. Um, as it breaks up in your mouth, as I can tell, you are getting a bit of. A, you are actually starting to get a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bit of a burn now. I'm starting to get more of a flavor. Not bad. It, it's not bad. I mean. To me, it still reminds me of a peppermint taste. I don't know why. It, it just reminds me of a peppermint. It does not... I mean, this is just me talking. Um... It does not taste like a wintergreen. I don't know if that's because it's just the first pinch or what, but... I don't know. Um, I'm probably... I'm going to dip this a couple more times. I'm probably going to take a couple more just to really see if I'm going to like it or not. I wanted to see if I'm also going to keep dipping it. Because, I, I mean, I like the idea of ready cut only because, you know, if you're in a place where you can't, like, take out your can and pack the shit out of it, you can just go in there, take one, and just throw it in quickly. So, I like I like the idea of it. I really, so... How many are, how many are in here anyways? Um, hang on. Uh... I'm trying to see how many are actually in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. About 18. There's about 18 of the um, portions in here. Which isn't bad, actually. Um, the candle, I mean, for me, it only costs here about 3 bucks, so. That's it, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> I ain't gonna complain about it, though. I mean, 3 bucks for, um. 
for about five po for about eighteen portions. Wait, man. Actually, I'm starting to get okay. Now I'm starting to get a little bit of a wintergreen taste. Still tastes a shit well like peppermint. I, I I cannot get. I I don't know why. It just tastes like fucking peppermint to me. God damn it. Ugh. So, anyways, y'all. Um. Also, in my next video, I'm also gonna be doing a dip crib video, which uh, well, that's my plan. I'm planning on doing a dip crib video. I'm gonna be showing off my posters, my replica belts. Uh, there is an empty spot right there. That's because my ECW belt is actually on my bed right now. And of course, as you can tell, I also got my dip towel set back up. Look at that beauty thing. It ain't, it ain't no outlaw, but you know what? There are there are quite a bit of cans. Of course, I got more. I got my tubs and, and more tobacco shit up there. And of course, my Kodiak racing um, old race car models. I got two of them. So yeah, guys. You know what? that pretty much does it for me. I mean, overall score as it stands right now. I'll uh, give this like a seven out of ten. Um, uh, reset, um, percent, presentation. The can looks badass. All right, I, I love the, I love the look of the can. It's different from what you're normally used to seeing skull, you know, with the um, circle thing. It kind of has like, I don't know. I just like the design of the can. I also like how the label, how the skull thing is actually black instead of white. Bit of a reverse. Um, the side of the can, you know, it really, it's really nothing special, but yeah, that's the side of the can, uh, like I said, it smells, it, to me, it smells like peppermint, uh, people can argue with me on that one, I'm just going by what I think it is, taste, it does have a little bit of a wintergreen taste, nothing like a skull, uh, skull long cut wintergreen, or skull extra, or or fine cut, very mild one agree. very mild. So you know what? If you're a beginner, highly recommend this shit. Um, if, if you're just starting out, uh, if you don't know how to pack, and you can find it, get some skull ready cut. As far as I know, um, there's only three flavors that ready cut comes in: straight, mint, and wintergreen. So I don't know about, I don't know if it comes in class. I don't know if there's like, I don't think there's any fruit flavors. I hope to God there's not any fruit flavors. I think skull has enough flavors out there. God damn. Ugh, flavor it down. But, I mean, anybody who knows me, the only flavors I'll stick with is, um, wind green and mint. <laughs> not a, I'm not a huge straight fan unless it's Copenhagen. Um, mint, mostly Stokers or Skull Extra. I don't know why. Skull Extra, man, just, oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know. I, I just love Skull Extra, man. I don't know why. <laughs> it's one of my favorite dips out there. I think it's just because it's so mild. I just think it's, it has a really nice sweet taste to it. And of course, when it comes to natural dip, I mean, now there's only one way to go when it comes to natural, and Mud Jug One says this all the time, and he's the one that got me, sh that really got me hooked on this shit. Go for any long cut. I've been dipping this shit nonstop for the past month and a half. Mostly because I'm trying to cut back on the winter grain myself. Uh, gums are pretty seated. This shot that I hell, oh my god. If I was getting my gums right now, they'd be like, what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> but yeah. So you know that does it for me, guys. Um, really, nothing, other than that, nothing's been going on in my life. Just been working on school. Um. So yeah, I've been working on school, and I'm actually heading, probably heading up to New York to see my father in a couple of weeks, cause you know he lives in Long Island, New York, and his house got wrecked by Hurricane Sandy, and he's asking me to go up there and, um, help him fix his roof and everything. So, you know, fine, whatever, I'll go up to New York, I'll go to see my dad, and, I'll uh, and I'll go help him fix his roof, I don't have a problem doing manual work, I ain't a pussy, I'll work. <laughs> yeah, my, so, yeah, guys, that does it for me, uh, I'm sorry, this, if this is a little bit of a boring video, I'm sorry, um, like I said, it's just not really much for me to talk about, I haven't had much going on. Um, but, alright, but, I, I probably will make a Thanksgiving video, like, this Happy Thanksgiving and shit, like I did last year, 
I'm not gonna make it like this whole big ass video again. I'll do something. I'll do something special though. Um, other than that, that does it for me. I mean, hell, I ain't got nothing. I got nothing left to say except for this. Right, your gums. Save your fucking lungs and get yourself some mud jug. Alright, y'all. I'm out. Peace.